train jumped the tracks in Brown County. Everyone's okay, but the damage is extensive. Brady Williams spent tonight looking into what happened and into what happens next. Authorities say this train was hauling grain and you can see corn kernels still on the ground. It's the tracks though that have sustained extreme damage that's going to affect a lot of vehicles. Now this train itself, several cars are completely off the track, wheels are destroyed. Luckily, we're told no one was injured. We called Brown County Dispatch to learn more about what might have happened and what might happen next. How long do we think it'll, it'll be out here? How long the, uh, the train's going to be off the tracks? Things like that. So the only things that I know is that there are no injuries and that we no longer have any apparatus. The wreck, viewed from above, paints a stronger picture of exactly what part of the train derailed. The National Transportation Safety Board says they're not investigating the derailment and directed us to the Federal Railroad Administration, whose offices were closed. We wanted to check in and see if you had any information about that, if you guys are investigating it, as well as if you can tell us anything about when things will open back up, things will be cleaned up. It shredded dozens of feet of track near Lindsay Road in Sterling Township at what used to be a railroad crossing. That's just a few miles down the tracks from Sardinia, where a train derailed in April of 2023. Right now, more questions than answers and a really big problem out here. As soon as we learn more about this, we're going to update you right here on Fox 19. But for now, alongside photojournalist Jared Darwish, Brady Williams in Brown County for Fox 19 Now. New tonight.